Hello and welcome to a very special EFC partnership announcement. I'm Simon Stevens and I'm coming to you from the EFC Performance Institute in Johannesburg, South Africa. And joining me today, if I could just do a quick cursory introduction, uh, joining me is the EFC President, Mr. Kara Howarth, President, uh, CEO of M2 Biosciences, Mr. Jeff Robinson, our EFC Bantamweight Champion, Mr. Nicholas Huende. And our EFC lightweight contender and M2 Bios Sciences Director of Health and Fitness, Mr. Rob Simboe. So as I suggested, we have a very special partnership announcement to make. So without further ado, let's get into the meat of it. And I'll hand over to the EFC President, Mr. Kyra Howarth. Thank you, Simon. Uh, and thanks to everyone for coming through today and everyone for joining us. Um, you know, we've been doing EFC for a long time. We obviously put a, a lot into this, a, a lot of our lives, a lot of all the athletes' lives. And a big focus for us has always been athlete health and well-being. Uh, we, eight years ago, we were the first mixed martial arts organization in the world to align with water protocols. After that, we were the first in Africa to start doing pre-fight brain scans. We are the first in Africa, or possibly in the world still, that do a concussion program. Uh, we have private medical aid, private medical care, sorry, for all of our athletes if they get injured. So it's something that EFC has prioritized from the beginning and, and you can never do enough, we feel. Um, and kind of got connected up with, with Jeff and the M2 Biosciences team and started discussing some of the work that they're doing and, and the vision that they have. And it's very similar to our vision from an EFC point of view where it's, we want these athletes to have the best platform, have the best opportunities um, and really have the best lives going forward as well. It's not just about when they're competing here, but their, their post-life as well. Um, and it's just been a, a kind of meeting of the minds, if you want to call it that. The vision's been the same for EFC and into Biosciences, and it's an exciting announcement that we have today that we have signed a partnership agreement together. Um, the money that M2 Biosciences is investing into the sport, into EFC, is literally going back into the athletes. So it's going into their athlete health. It's going into the athlete purses, bonuses, so the athletes are going to be taking home more money every time they compete, which is a huge thing. So, yeah, just want to say thank you to Jeff and the M2 Biosciences team for, for partnering up with us. I hand it over to Jeff. Thank you. Uh, yeah, where do I start? So, I, I guess for me, the, you know, how this all came about and my passion for the sport has always been there. I lived in Las Vegas. I saw the UFC in fact, their offices were right beside me. So I was a frequent spectator at the UFC. I loved it. And then when I came to South Africa about four years ago, uh, you know, I was watching it here, a little bit here and there. And then about a year and a half ago, I bumped into this gentleman here on my right. And he, we, you know, we, we got along like a house on fire. He told me all about his life, his career. And I started learning more about the person. It wasn't for me about the physical, you know, part of the sport. Of course, that's a big part of it. But it was about the, the fact that he's a, a fantastic husband, a fantastic father, and has a beautiful little baby. And I thought, man, what do we have to do in the scientific world to make sure that we're taking care of these guys pre-fight, post-fight, and long-term health? So we started chatting about those things. And I really spent a lot of time, not just with Rob, but with others, um, you know, finding out questions like, you know, how many times do you get hit in the head during a fight and how does it really hurt and, and getting all this data so I could start figuring out what that would mean for us. So the more we got involved in that and then finally I met uh, Cairo a few times here. I came for the fights. I'm based in Cape Town. We got along as well, just like a house on fire as well. And a long story short, here we are today announcing this partnership, which I'm really proud to be a part of. I think the partnership is going to grow into something much greater than what it is that's being announced today, in fact. And uh, I'm really delighted to be able to bring our sciences to uh, the sport. It's important to have, of course, great fighters like Rob and, and uh, others, you know, champions and that's amazing, of course, but it's so important to realize that these are people at the end of the day. They're just like us, and we need to, to look out for their health. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. And I just want to pick up about the athletes and ask, pass, pass over to Rob Simboe, because, Rob, you're a brand ambassador for M2 Biosciences, and you know the EFC being a fighter on the roster as well as representing M2 Biosciences. So what's your perspective as a fighter and as a brand ambassador for M2 Biosciences in terms of this collaboration and what it can mean for you as a fighter? 
Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate First of all, I'd like to thank Carol and Graham because of them setting up EFC in Africa and being the Africa's fastest growing sport and the only platform that we can really compete and showcase what we are or what we made of, you know. So I'm very pleased to be honest. Uh, yes, of course, I am a brand ambassador of M2 Bio and I'm a director of sport. Really, M2 Bio has changed my life. And if you can see me getting back today, competing actively, it's because of M2 Bio, you know. There are people who have really helped me mentally, physically really to discover so much so in the past year we really had a lot of discussion me and jeff the ceo and thank you so much brother so we had discussions when i fought the previous fight last year when i fought rocky and you know i encountered certain challenges and after the fight i was really broken mentally and everything so i had a chat with jeff like what do you guys go through as fighters how does it feel you know automatically when we're trying to cut weight before the fight or after the fight, we do, go so, we do go through so much that people don't really see or consider. Because fighting, it's a tough sport that requires so much skills. You know, it, both you need to be prepared mentally, uh, physically, with everything that you can. So for me, being the brand ambassador of m 2 Bio lately, I've really grown a lot on the perspective of being a better fighter, being a father, and just being uh, an inspirer to other people, you know, to be honest. And M2 Bio, we're basically dealing more on medical research, on mental health, and also trying to use magical mushroom. So the, going forward, there's so much that's going to come that I cannot reveal right now. But yeah, you know, like right now, the quick thing that I can say is that me and Jeff, we did partner up beside EFC. We've got the muscle rub, the Rob Simboy muscle rub. So M2 Bio, they've come to me and say, listen, what, what can you do after fighting? We need to look into you. Beside fighting right now, as a, as a father, as a person, you can't just depend on the fighting. It's the same thing that happened with Nicholas on his last fight where he was injured. You know, what about if that thing was worse? And how would you sustain your life going forward? So this is where Jeff came to me and they're like, you know what? We can introduce Rob Simbo in muscle rap. We can introduce to educate you mentally so that, you know, knowledge is everything. So beside fighting that you can be able to achieve a career and earn a living through our department and assist other people, to be honest. Very well said. I'd love a, a Rob Simboe muscle you. rub. Thank you. Um, let's just pass it over to this man. You trained with him and you sharing the EFC 99 card with him. And he took the EFC bantamweight belt there by fighting through a broken hand in the first round. Nick, just talk us through what you think this kind of collaboration means for you guys as fighters and how you've been looked after in the past by EFC and what this deal with M2 Biosciences can mean to you as an athlete. Well, uh, thank you guys for having me here, and I'm very happy. Uh, Rob, Jeff, Kyra, and Simon, I just want to thank uh, EFC for giving me this opportunity. Yeah, it's also, you know, as you can see, this specimen here, for it to be like this, you have to be physically fit, mentally fit. So after my fight, I realized, like, mm, what am I going to do next? But then... Lucky enough, EFC helped me. I paid for my surgery and I'm happy now and I'm strong. Three months down the line, I'm going to be defending soon. And as you can see, it's not going anyway. Well, uh, you know what, um, Seven, um, it's an honor to be part of EFC because as you can see, even now people are seeing me like, wow, Nicholas, you look fit, you look strong. I want to be like you. Messages every day on Instagram, on WhatsApp. What can I do to be like you, Nicholas? You know, when someone is asking you that question, I'm like, hmm, how do I look? You know, so it's an honor to be part of something big that uh, can feed you uh, mentally and also spiritually, you know. To carry this title, I feel honored and um, strong. So, yeah, when it comes to health stuff, um, I'm very happy. You've you helped me so much. And, yeah, it's a good thing because without that, I won't be here right now. Thank you very much. Thanks, Nick. Carl, do you want to follow up on that? Yeah, if I can add on there. Um, yeah, so in Nicholas's last fight, literally broke his hand, uh, required surgery afterwards. We sent you to the, the, best, the best surgeons, the best private care. Um, and I think I saw you four weeks later after your surgery. I actually said to Nicholas, I said, hey, you know, do you have any idea how much that surgery cost uh, that we paid for it? And he said, I said, think high. And what did you say? I think you said 5,000 to me. And I said, listen, we've spent, already spent over 100,000 Rand fixing that hand. And his eyes were, <laughs> he looked at me, he said, you'd rather just give me that money. Why did you fix my hand? I said, <laughs> so I said, you know, 
people don't even realize, and when I say people don't even realize, even the athletes haven't even realized how much EFC has been putting into the medical side. We've really been investing a massive amount. It's been putting the company on financial strain to get it done, like literally. Um, and when we come back to this partnership, when me and Jeff were talking about it, and Jeff says to me, he's like, Kyra, what do you need to, for the athletes to earn more? What do you need in order to keep giving this care and to give better care? I said, listen, we need partnerships like we've been discussing. And Jeff says, cool, let's get it done and let's make that happen and make it a reality. And that's what we've done today. So because of this partnership, athletes like Nicholas, when they get an injury, they get the best care, they get back in there, their hands fully healed or whatever part of them, they, they can compete again. And one day when Nicholas goes to the UFC, like we believe he's going to, he's not going to have a, a half working hand because he didn't get it fixed properly because you know, there wasn't enough money from him fighting in Africa. We, we're promoting the best vision for African athletes going forward and giving the best opportunities that we possibly can. Thanks, Kyle. If I might just come back to Jeff Robinson. Jeff, M2 Biosciences is, is a world leader in some of the research going into psilocybins and cannabinoids in terms of brain health and a variety of other elements. As a world leader, you could have had your pick of any sports league or combat sports promotion on the planet. Why the EFC? Uh, because of the, uh, we found something how psilocybin relates to inflammatory conditions. So it was something very, very new. It had never been discovered before. Uh, and it was in our, I think in our third or fourth published paper, which was maybe last year at some point. And I started thinking more and more about, again, about these great fighters and what they go through. And... And for me, it was, well, hang on a second. Maybe there's a connection here where we can look at the inflammatory condition caused by post-fight trauma and then look at solving those issues and medicating in a, in a certain way. I'm not condoning that at the moment that that's what you need to be doing. I mean, it's all clinical. It's in the lab. Um, but everything looks very, very promising. So... Um, so that's the, the, the macro kind of picture. There's a much deeper micro picture, and we'll get into that at a later date. <laughs> but I, I just wanted to pick up something on, if I could for one minute, on, on Rob and, and kind of the, the, Rob mentioned something that's crucial, and so did you, and that is that, that there's so much more behind us as people, as I said before, than just being a fighter. And what are these guys going to do when their fighting career is over? And Rob said, you know, that's what Jeff and I were discussing. And I always said that. It's the why behind this is it's awesome. These guys are in great shape. And, you know, Rob trains about five hours a day. But then what? Where is he going to be when his career is done? And he has to hang up the gloves. So these guys need that preparation. They need to know what could be ahead so they've got longevity and a career in maybe a different arena that can really, really help them. Fantastic, thanks. Kyra, I'll just give the last word to you. And really my question is, we've had some fantastic partners in EFC history, but I don't recall one at any point in, our, in the history of the EFC where there's something that really resonates with us as people, as Jeff was talking about. That, that this partnership that deals with the fighters and our greatest assets. Can you just talk to what it means to be chosen as the EFC by a company that's a world leader like M2 Biosciences? Uh, I mean, it's, it's really, it's, it's a huge day for, not just for EFC and for M2 Biosciences, but for the athletes and, and the sport in Africa as a whole. Um, and not just Africa, what we want to do together as a group, we've got a, we put so much into our medical side, the health side, they're world leaders in this. And once we, we want to put the two together and come out with a solution, if you want to call it that, or a, a, a protocol that not just EFC follows, that improves all the athletes' lives, but we want from boxing to MMA shows to kickboxing around the world to go, that works really well. They've worked out a better system. We should all be following that system and they can literally change it globally. There's no reason that we can't pioneer something for combat sports um, and contact sports that's global in, in this partnership. And that's what's really exciting for us. Yeah. Rob, do you have any last words or any last messages you want? Um, no, man, my message will be, I'm excited for the coming up event in November. 
And first of all, I'd like to wish all the athletes that will be competing tomorrow, I want to wish them good luck. We are fighters. We are trained fighters. We are skilled fighters. So we're not enemies or anything. So I just want to wish everybody good luck. Let them do their best. Let them win. And this is the turning around point because I had a discussion with Jeffrey in terms of how, fighter get, how fighters get conversated after the fight and all that. And today, thank you, Jeff, for making this possible. You know, it has taken us time, but today you've made it possible because and I wasn't really selfish to think of myself when I met Jeff, but when I was asked the question and I was like, is everything that I go through is the same thing that most fighters are going through. The only thing that we want is that, you know, we can't stop fighting. We love fighting. It's our passion, you know? So certain challenges, okay. Because of that challenge, I can't say no or yes, but I have to carry on my journey and being a fighter. But how can we fix this problem and this is where today there's so much things that's been added i think there's some bonuses that has been added now that you know money wise is going to be compensated to fighters thanks to m2 bio thanks to jeff because now at least guys will get a bit of motivation but not to be selfish but you have to work extra harder if you at least you can it can motivate you to spend six hours in a gym because you're working for something beneficial that you know it will sustain you so right now man i just want to say good luck i'm coming back on uh, november the third I'm doing my homework correctly. I don't know who else if he's doing his homework or not, but I am doing my homework correctly. So as you go to school, you are given an assignment and it's up to you to work and pass that assignment, you know. Me and M2 Bio, they've put me on a meditation with one of the top guys in America that really do coach me regularly, do mentor me regularly so that I can live and use my present moment very well. So, man, I've got every magic, I've got every tool to make this partnership work and to make my fight count in November. So I'd just like to wish good luck to my opponent, Tapio Katikati. He's a tough fighter. He's, a, he's got good striking, but man, what else besides your striking? Because I'm coming, that's all. Thank you, guys. Uh, Jeff and Cairo, any closing remarks from you at all? Well, do we have any questions from the media at all? Please, SABC. Thank you, uh, Charles Baloy from the SABC. Congratulations on the partnership. Firstly, how long is this partnership? Is it an, a year-to-year -year basis where you'll be renewing the partnership? And are you able to disclose the financial part of it? And also, this uh, biosciences, uh, is it accessible to ordinary South African? Is it also, um, this sponsorship is restricted to the professionals who are also going to start with the amateurs, build them up so that they can get to that level as well with this care? It's a lot of good questions there. Uh, but why don't you deal with the first two? First two questions, maybe you could deal with them. Uh, and then, is it available to the general public? So when you do clinical work, you've got to be in the clinic and you do it with a small group of people. And then you've got to prove up your hypothesis to make sure it works. That's where we're at. So, uh, you know, it t these things take time. Um, just as, a, as an overall kind of macro picture, again, that might help. Uh, for us, everything is about brain science. It's actually brain science and gut science and how the access connects. You know, what it is that we ingest and how that affects the brain and then how the brain affects the body, physically and mentally. And, and, and Rob just brought up something very interesting about the, the meditation and the spiritual work and stuff that we also do. Uh, that is a huge part, and, and just a, it's a huge part that I, I hopefully can bring to all the fighters in a, in a protocol where they could follow it. And that type of stuff, when you think about it, these guys train and they go to the gym, they work out hard and they get big muscles and they look great. They look in the mirror, they look like, you know, models. That's, that's fantastic. But ask yourself, when was the last time you actually trained your brain? Anybody here? No. I mean, we don't say to ourselves, what are we doing for our own brain health? That is what we work on, because if your brain health isn't where it needs to be, the rest of you isn't going to work well. So we really, really need to learn this science, and technology is, is enabling us to get much, much deeper into the brain and learn much better how it works. I hope that answered a little bit of it. So generally speaking, in a year or two, this stuff might be available to the public, but we always start small. And one of my things that I always say, and I, I say it to everyone, is I've always found that in life, baby steps is the way to go. Baby steps with everything. And eventually, the baby steps add up 
to big steps being taken. So that's part of our company and, and what we do every day. Same thing with Rob, I know he practices that as well. So from uh, the contract point of view, uh, we signed it Friday last week. So we've been busy, as you can see, uh, the last couple of days, um, but it's a one-year one year partnership with a second year um, option to, to extend. So minimum of one year, potentially two years as an initial term, which is, which is amazing. So we can literally look forward to guarantee for the next 12 months, upping what we do from the medical point of view, like Rob said, putting more money down for the athletes to take home when they compete. So it's, so it's really, really big. Any other questions for the media? Um, Jeff, this was for you. I'm quite intrigued because brain injuries, uh, brain health is obviously a huge focus. The NFL in particular have had lots to deal with over the last few years. Um, is that somewhere where the technology and the science comes into play here? Because uh, with MMA, for example, a lot of the athletes will get concussed after being knocked out. Um, even in sparring, they, they have hand injuries. Is that technology and the science behind it? I know you can't give too much away, but is that a big part of this? Is, is that sort of brain health and recovery? It, 100%. And you, you mentioned the NFL. Uh, this past weekend with the Miami Dolphins, there's been an issue with the quarterback. And uh, it was terrible. I don't know if anyone saw it, but you know the quarterback was lying there on the ground and you could see that his, his hands were all curled up. I mean, this guy was not in good shape at all. And then, of course, what did they do? A week later, they put him back on the field. And I'm, I'm looking, at what's wrong with you guys? Like, that is so wrong. So I want to make sure that in our new partnership, we have proper protocols, really good protocols based on sound technology and medicine that prevents that from ever happening. And to answer more on the technology side, we have a, I can't name the company yet, but we have a company in New York uh, that we've partnered with and uh, will likely be acquiring soon. Uh, that, that, is, that has a particular uh, way of looking at the brain in real time, uh, which allows us to look at different uh, functions within the brain, um, all in real time. And uh, it's that type of technology that uh, allows us to, to look very quickly at the health of a fighter, post-fight if there was a, a problem, and then of course pre-fight. So, for me, medicine is always about taking care of it first, you know, going to the doctor preventative. It's not about waiting for stuff to happen and then go to the doctor. So that's a big part, again, of what we're going to be doing with the EFC is making sure these guys pre-fight, and I mean pre-fight, are really well looked at and taken care of. Yeah. That's exactly it. I mean, we already do, I say we do a lot, but you can never do enough with this. You can ne there can never be enough pre-fight checks, because exactly like Jeff says, we want to prevent the injuries from taking place in the first place. If we can prevent the injury, yes, we have the best system set up for the best private care afterwards, but if we can take that out of it completely, pick up a pre-existing condition or problem before it takes place, then we don't have the actual injury to deal with afterwards. So that's, uh, that's the majority of our focus is literally going to be put onto that. Any other questions? Great. So, Nicholas, I'll come to you for closing remarks before I pass over. Oh, thank you, guys. You know, uh, like Rob said, um, I wish you uh, a good fight uh, tomorrow. The fighters that are fighting tomorrow, please fight smart. Don't just fight because at the end of the day, you will get hurt. It's not all about how hard you get hit or how hard you can hit, but, you know, you can be the one punching, then you break your finger like me, or you can be kicked, and then you get broken. So I wish you uh, a good fight, guys, tomorrow. And for the 3rd of November, you know, Rob, good luck. You're my guy, you know. And uh, I also want to say to Zulu, please, Zulu, it's an honor to fight someone like you, a living legend. Uh, you are entitled to elevate me to be like you or even more because after that fight, I also want you to raise my hand and say, this is the next big thing. What do you think? <laughs> because for sure, I'm going to be giving everything on the 3rd of uh, November. I really want Zulu to be very fit so that me and him 
uh, we give a good performance and for the fans and Rob, I hope you will be there too. And for the bonus, that's the obvious thing there because I can't wait to perform on the highest level since I'm not fit and I want to show the world that uh, my fingers fit. I'm an athlete and a strong opponent is as it is. So Rob, my man, you and me, uh, let's try by all means to make sure we get that bonus uh, on the 3rd of November. Thank you. We are definitely going to get that bonus. We are going to get that bonus. And uh, man, thank you, Graham, for the November card. And Glenn, guys, this card is interesting. To be honest, I'm a fighter, but uh, when I saw the card and I saw people are coming up on the card, it's a card that you should not miss. Same as the card for tomorrow, but in the November card, there's very good, interesting fighters and the very good matchups. So guys, I swear... Yeah, there'll be fireworks in this place. If you want to jump off your seat and run through the cage, please come November because there's something interesting happening in November. I can feel, I can feel it now. I can feel the heat, the present. Yeah, thanks, guys. And good luck to Nicholas and Zulu. These guys are ex-training mates. And Zulu is our friend, our brother, same as Nicholas say. We've got respect for him. He's a living legend. And guys, man, let the best man walk away. And good luck, guys, to be honest. Nice, Rob. Um, thanks, thanks for joining us, uh, Rob and Nick, and, and obviously Jeff. Thanks for this partnership, man. Looking forward to many years ahead and, and doing great stuff. So thank you. Well, guys, thanks for joining us here today. Don't forget to join us tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central African time for EFC 98 and Bowie versus Jakasa. Well, this is baby steps, as Jeff was saying. So just keep tuned to all the media. Follow M2 Biosciences on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as the EFC, and just see how we're going to go from here. Thanks for joining us today. Cheers for now.